Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to discuss um, PHP errors with your WordPress. Um, a common problem nowadays is the themes are getting a little bit heavier and heavier, um, especially with things like directory themes becoming popular. Uh, you're going to be putting in a lot of demo content. And a lot of times you'll get an error that will say max upload size received or max post size um, you know errors and things like that uh, whenever you're trying to upload an image you in the media file you may get an HTTP error as well so uh, there's some a couple of things you can do to uh, to rectify that and uh, and not get those errors and be able to upload your content or import your demo content so I just got my uh, WeConnect websites cPanel here um, this is a different or a brand new cPanel I just moved the site into so it's uh, the same basic setup that you're gonna have when you fire up your cPanel for the first time if yours is a little bit older you may have settings that have been changed so you may have to alter yours to suit your needs but all of the basics will be here for you so first things first you're going to want to be able to tell what settings are on the server and uh, you can do that through what's called a PHP info file and this will basically tell you how to make one uh, you just click on the first link whichever one you get and basically what this informate what this page is going to tell you here is that uh, you have to use this piece of code right there and then make a file on the server with the name php info.php so let's go ahead and do that now I'm using transmit as I always do and we're gonna go ahead and use the server to make our file rather than using notepad or notepad plus plus or text edit for Mac um, I am working on a Mac by the way but um, you can always use the server to create a file so you can right click in your uh, FTP and then you should see new file you create that and then we're gonna label it PHP info dot PHP so that's what they want you to label it and we're gonna put that right in our public underscore HTML folder so now that that's done uh, you should be able to look directly in this folder here public underscore HTML and we sh should see a PHP info dot PHP and there it is so we can open that with our text editor I'm using sublime text you can use notepad plus plus and we're going to go ahead and copy this information right out of this page just as I said and then we're going to paste it right there in that PHP info.php and we're going to save that back to the server there's our little uh, notification up there to let us know it's saved correctly and once you have that saved you can go out to your website and then you would do forward slash PHP info Dot PHP and now that will give you all of your server settings basically what that piece of code in there is doing is just querying the server saying hey uh, what are my settings right now so these are where they're at and max execution time is one that uh, is popular uh, max upload and if you're looking for something in particular in this page and, and you're just not finding it because these tables are so uh, are so long you can do a control F or a command F on Mac and you can do max upload upload max file size this is another one that you'll uh, get an error on very commonly um, sometimes it'll be a memory limit um, and uh, max input vars 
is another one that you may may encounter. Um, so you can see that you got tons and tons of settings here that you can go ahead and alter. So we'll leave that to the side for right now. And you can see my version is PHP 4.4.3. So why do we have this uh, PHP info file? So that way we can tell when we save our php.ini file, which I'm going to show you in a second, when you save that file, this is going to let you know that the settings that you created in the INI file are actively working on the server. Important stuff. So uh, there's, a, again, like I said, a couple different ways where you can rectify those WordPress errors that you get. GoDaddy has a really uh, decent system now uh, where you can do what's called, excuse me, select PHP version. And when you click on that, you'll see that standard your cPanel hosting account is going to be on PHP version 5.4. But if you click on that, you can do 5.5 or 5.6. We'll just go with 5.5 and we'll click set that as current. When you do that, you'll see that there's a whole lot of options that come up here. And you can turn these on or off as you see fit. When you get... Um, when you use these you'll find that you'll be told to change them so if you're a, a novice you don't know what these mean don't worry about what they mean um, you'll you'll know what they need what you need when you need it so don't freak out so you always want to save and you you saw me you saw me click that save button in the bottom left hand corner there and then we can go up here to the top right and you'll see this switch to PHP options when you click on that it'll give you a bunch of options here that you can change and these are the popular ones max execution time max input time uh, memory limit upload max file size so these are all things that uh, things that you'll get out of those WordPress errors so we can change these parameters um, so you want to change max file size 30 will add a 0, 300, and you click apply. Uh, max input time, something I really don't necessarily set. I've never had an error, but memory limit is something that I've had I've had an error with. So you can crank that up to 512. That's the memory limit of your actual hosting account. So that'll let that'll allow the WordPress to use a little bit more power that's on your server per user. Uh, Mac, post max file uh, post max size um, you can turn that up to um, you know if you have a larger posts and things like that put that on um, upload max file size as you just turn that on all the way up to a gig two. click apply on there so now you'll see we've changed all these settings right here and just for a reference let's go ahead and take a look at our PHP info and we're gonna search for upload max file size which is now 32 megabytes and we turn that up to 1 gig see we were here we turned it up to here we applied it we saved it and now we, are, we see it on the PHP info.php when I reload this it's going to change this value, this 32 megabytes. Well, hopefully. So let's do a find again in our browser. And now you'll see it. It's uploaded to 2 megabytes. Well, that's not what we wanted. So let's see, if we don't get what you want, you'd want to go back to the home of your cPanel and scroll down to those PHP uh, settings, software settings there, and do a kill processes. When you kill processes, what that means is if there's anything going on, if the server's uh, doing any functions or anything with the PHP language, it's actually going to stop the, that function uh, kill that function, kill that process, and let the server kind of uh, soft restart, if you will. I usually like to press it twice just because. And we 
we can change uh, flip this over the screen you could still see our max upload max file size is two megabytes now this is uh, on the right hand side here this is what they're going to give you on the server and they may not be allowing us to go any higher than we already are uh, and I can definitely tell that that's what's going on they have the server set to only allow so much so even though you have settings here in this uh, in this uh, select PHP version even though you have the settings there they have the server capped out so another way which it's what you have what we have set here should really should really work but now when we go back to this page and we refreshed you see none of my settings actually saved so let's try that again and see if we can change this up so we got two megabytes here we can apply it we can save it all right that should go through reload this page here uh, we'll do another open F just to find that quickly there you go one gig so now uh, once you save that through you know it'll take effect on the server now your upload max file size is going to be one gig and you didn't have to create a PHP dot INI file. Now you can create a PHP INI file because there are so many other settings in in uh, the, the PHP language in relation to the server that you can get a lot more out of your hosting account if you choose to actually create a file. So let's go ahead and explore that a little bit too. We're going to go back over to my FTP program and again we're going to do new file and this file is actually going to have certain a certain name depending on what type of hosting account you are what you are you're on check with your hosting provider on what the name should be right now we're using GoDaddy so GoDaddy has this help article here that tells you what the name of the file should be perfect that's what we need for the uh, type of hosting account that we're working with right now we're working with the cPanel that's this one here and it says that we should be using php.ini which is the standard name for the file um, but then if you look just a little bit down here you'll see .user.ini is another file and that can work as well so depending on what you'd like to use you can really kind of go either way with WordPress the settings that most of you will be using will be very general so you can search them all on the internet uh, and get the parameters the settings and we'll see those now so I've got my untitled file here and we're gonna call that what we're gonna call it php.ini that's right if you didn't get it I won't tell anybody uh, so we got php.ini we're gonna go ahead and open that up and that pops open right in my text editor there which is sublime text and then we need some information to put in here so let's get some let's see let's say you needed max upload file size to put that in your INI file you just literally you would get an error on the WordPress page that would tell you upload max file size exceeded uh, and then you can literally copy that paste it into Google search it out and then you'll look down this page here what do we got Let's use um, let's use this one. Since this is a demo, I don't have actual I don't have actual parameters that I need to set. I'm just making this up kind of as I go along, and you can see here that you you can actually update some of these in your HT access file too which is a .htaccess file. You can see that file there. But we're going to do it through this php.ini. And here are some very basic settings. Um, again, upload max file size, post max size, uh, max execution time. And if you'll remember from those other settings that we had, um, max execution time was one that was in the PHP version options. 
as well as the post max size um, and the upload max file size so we're gonna go ahead and copy these close that out and we're just gonna plop them right here in this php.ini file command s or control s depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC and that will save right back to the server so um, now we can go back out we got php.ini saved to the server now when you save this file back to the server you have to go back to the home page of your cPanel you have to go back to the uh, PHP processes and you have to kill the processes even though it says no PHP processes found kill them anyway all right so that goes through uh, that went through just fine now we can see that we changed our parameters to these here and we should be able to go to our php info.php reload that and let's see what do we got max execution time is 300 so let's use that one max execution time 300 so that that is actually reading from that php.ini file how do we know that how can we be sure that it's reading from the php.ini file and not from this select php version settings let's take a look so we go back we see our php version we got switch to php options in the upper right you click on that and you can see here my max execution time on the GoDaddy settings in the cPanel are still set at 30. But when I go to my max execution time and my PHP info.php, you'll see that the max execution time is now set at 300. So that's how you can tell that it is absolutely running from this php.ini file because the settings on the server are on, on the cPanel portion are different from what's in the INI file and my PHP info.php here is showing me what I have in the file all right so let's try another one just to see we have post max size what do we have here post max size is 8 megabytes uh, on this you can see that right there we just jumped that up to 64 megabytes so if this php.ini was not on the server was not here in the files then we would be getting 8 megabytes to this for to use for our post max size but we can go over here post oh there it is post max size so you can see here 64 megabytes is what's coming out of that so now uh, that's how you work the INI file, uh, php.ini. I'll go ahead and pop some of the settings in the uh, in the description below or in the con in the in the description below. Um, and if you have any questions, like with any of my other videos, just leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Generally, I answer within 24 hours, so uh, we'll get you quick answers uh, as well. So that, uh, I think that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. I got a couple of more that are coming out um, with some other good information, but I wanted to definitely give you, give you a show of that uh, INI file, how that works, and how to alleviate some of those WordPress errors. So um, if you have, again, questions, comment, uh, questions, concerns, comments, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.